As a consummate revolutionary, R.O. 23, Jeno Eli Tumwine Tuhirire, has been one of the few surviving members of the historical High Command. In 1978, Tumwine abandoned teaching fine art to join Yoweri Museveni, his former teacher, in the latter's Front for National Salvation, or FRONASA. He later attended a cadet officer's course at the Tanzania Military Academy in Monduli. In 1981, he joined Museveni to start the five-year National Resistance Army Rebellion that eventually ousted late President Apollo Milton Obote's government. It is believed that in the attack on Kabamba Military School, Tumwine fired the mystical first shot that launched the rebellion. During the war, he was in charge of a mobile unit that controlled the Kampala Hoima Road, and in one of the battles, he suffered facial injuries that led to the loss of sight in one eye. <laughs> Tumwine served as NRS Army Commander from 1984 until 1988 when he was succeeded by General Salim Saleh. In 1988, together with Fred Rijema Jisa and Salim Saleh, Tumwine was given the rank of Major General by the Commander-in-Chief. This was a stepping stone to numerous portfolios that he has held over the years in the Uganda People's Defense Forces and in the government. From 1986 to 2021, he was an army representative in the Constituent Assembly and later Parliament of Uganda. In 1986 to 1999, he was a chairman of the High Command Appeals Committee. In 1989, Tumwine was appointed State Minister for Defense. In 1994 to 1996, he was Director General of the External Security Organization, or ESO. In 1996 to 1998, he was a Presidential Advisor. In 2005, he was promoted to General and appointed Chairman of the General Court Marshal. In 2019 to 2021, he was Security Minister. And in 2021, after he was dropped from Cabinet, he was appointed Senior Presidential Advisor on Security. As Army Commander, Tumwine helped to design the flag, emblem, and uniform of the Army. In 1992, he launched his company, Creations Limited, to promote the arts and craft industry. Through his company, he is accused of having taken over the normal gallery, which lies in the precincts of State Lodge, Nakasero. Who gave him the key? There's no MOU, there's no contract, there's no tenancy. All that you are saying, Chairperson and members, is not there. I want to challenge the Ministry. If they have an invoice of, or an agreement with me that I should pay rent, you cannot demand an agreement, rent when you have no agreement. Until his death, he had not paid a single coin in rental areas of over 1 billion shillings for over 28 years for the usage of normal gallery, a government premise to the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development. <laughs> Tumwine was also a musician and he is known for singing songs such as I Nunu and Do You Thank God. He will be remembered for his brash attitude and sometimes abrasive statements towards those who felt it was their constitutional right to demand accountability from him for his excesses. What can they pay me? for my sacrifice. I don't want anybody to give me. By the way, some of us, we were not dying for any money. In July 2019, Tumwine, who was the Minister of Security at the time, refuted reports that he had drawn a pistol on Dokolo woman member of parliament, Cecilia Ogwal, and poked a finger in her eye during the seventh parliament. Then I met Cecilia Ogwal in the lobby. And I went straight to her and told her, you have disappointed me, you are a liar. He wasn't shy on reminding anyone who cared to listen about the sacrifices he made in bringing about the peace that he claimed Ugandans are currently enjoying. You know, when you abuse me, let me tell you what it is. I enjoy it. Why? Because it means 
you have enjoyed you are enjoying the freedom for which I was willing to die. In 2019, Tumuine controversially admitted to the Parliamentary Committee on Human Rights the existence of safe houses, claiming governments all over the world operated safe houses. Under what laws do the safe houses operate? There might be no specific law, but I do not know of any law which bars them. This admission triggered an attempt by members of the opposition to censure him. Perhaps his most famous quote came in the aftermath of the November 2020 riots, in which over 54 Ugandans lost their lives. Some people considered the statement he made at the media center to be rather insensitive in a time of grief. Once we have started, how I beat you does not have rules. Police has a right to shoot you and kill you if you reach a certain level of violence. During the handover ceremony, after he had been dropped from the security portfolio, Tumwine, in what some read in two as disgruntlement, asked President Museveni to retire because if he didn't, it would be a recipe for trouble. It should be our duty to save him from being Ngambanyenka. When you could have a proverb, Ngambanyenka, you come out of that the one who does not take advice brews some um, bad beer. Tumwine has been the national chairman of the National Presidential Medals Awards Committee. He has been declared dead on a number of occasions and at one time had to come out publicly to refute rumors of his death. Geno Tumwine was born on April 12th in 1954 in Burunga in Barara district. The late Tumwine is an alumni of Mbarara High School, St. Henry's College, Chitovu, and Makere University, where in 1977 he completed a Bachelor of Arts in Fine Arts and a Diploma in Education. In 2005, he attended the Senior Command course at the Uganda Senior Command and Staff College in Chimaka, Jinja District. He also holds military qualifications from the Military Academy in Vistri in the former Soviet Union. Tumwine had been set to retire from the army in July 2022. However, the retirement process was put on hold and is still pending due to a lack of funds. Gillian Nantume, NTV Tonight.